The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back at it again. Thank you for sticking around for a couple of hours. It uh, does my my psyche good to know that happy you time. stuck around. Yes, I'm very, Are you happy? I'm so happy. And, and I'm also happy that it's near the end of the show, which is my chance for escape. No, so. your escape is doing doing a whole bunch of weddings in the next two weekends, right? Oh, good golly. Yeah, that's just, uh, you know, it, it was a light summer and uh, we, we packed them all up in, in the fall. Of course, a lot of people with these barns and things like that, sure. they, they like to have their weddings in the um, in the fall. And, and that uh, we have one that's going Friday, uh, a wedding on Friday, a wedding on Saturday and a wedding on Sunday. Now that was fine when I was twenty five. At this age, whoo! Well, you got you got the help. You got the boy. You got yeah, you, you got, got your, the wife. Your, your wife's yeah. got lots of muscles and whew, yeah. We work uh, as a family. We're like little house on the prairie uh, DJ service. So <laughs> we're, we're all working together. <laughs> well, uh, it, 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 the good news is at your age you get a lot of referrals because you've been around and in well, a good true. way. Yeah. So people are like you know what you did that wedding five that yeah. was really and they want to grab. I'm doing that like the uh, last of the children in family like. So, you know, I've okay. done the, the, the young daughter and then the middle daughter, and then I did the parents. Right. So, you know, it's like, wow. Oh, my goodness. It's been around. It goes around the horn, right? Yeah, no, it does. <sighs> That's good. Anyway, so we have a new person to the show, and I'm very excited to, to have her because she's homegrown and also around the lake, which is very near and dear to our hearts, right? Because, oh, absolutely. You know, I used to love to fish, and um, now you still fish. Yeah, occasionally, and, when there's time. Yeah, well, you didn't even have a lot of time this no, summer. There's not a, never enough time yeah. to fish. So. Marcy uh, Korsakowski is the owner of North Shore Coffee and Tea Company over there on the, of course, North Shore. There we How go. are you? <laughs> I'm great. Thank you so much, Tom and Steve, for having me. Well, thank you for being here. We appreciate uh, what you do in the community, too, and bringing great coffee. Anybody who's on YouTube with us can see that we have coffee, and it's from North Shore. I'm going to take a sip. It's real coffee, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good stuff. Not that it's not that national brand that I'm yeah. not going to mention that, you know, this is way better. Right. Are you grinding the beans yourself there, Marcy? Or? No, <laughs> I, I do have some uh, some help with that. Okay. We, f- we feature uh, Tug Hill Artisan Roasters really? uh, beans there in Lowville. Oh, okay. cool. And right. homegrown themselves. And, um, they, they, make, grow, they grow the beans over there. They do. They, they do not. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> they, they, it's warmer I than you think. I thought the Tug Hill, you know, they could do that. <laughs> it's a possibility. Possibility, I suppose, yeah. uh, but they do the you know the roasting process and yeah, I see. And you can yeah. fish there, uh, Lowville, Hill, Port Lydon, the creeks. I've got some fish Very up there. Much so. so yes. Very good. Now, uh, Marcy, are you uh, a native to Syracuse, or did you grow up somewhere else? No, pretty much in New York State, but um, a lot of my childhood uh, was in the, the Rochester area. Right. Uh, my husband and I moved into the North Shore area, uh, West Monroe. Okay. Uh, How does that happen? 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and then whole week, let's yes. live out there. How did that happen? What, what were you attracted to the lake or was it family? Or? Property. Property. Yeah, we you, you, own a couple of horses. and There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That was the catalyst for the move. Right. Very nice. Tom used to be big as a horse, and then he went on his diet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do people say I look like a so horse? So we went off and offer. Oh, we want to open a coffee shop. How does that start? Where did that happen? Well, you know, it's trying to find at that at that time um, a nice cup of cappuccino. Uh, you know, a nice espresso was kind of far and few between. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, to find a, a decent pastry, there just really wasn't anything. There's some wonderful communities on the North Shore. Yes. Uh, but there just wasn't anything available. And that yeah. just got me thinking. And after that, it was it was all over. And so, you mainly <laughs> service that area. So you're like, you know, Central Square, Hastings, Camden, Viana. That 49 trap, 49? Yeah, the Prime 49. Mail, yes, yeah. yes, State Route 49. So, so are a lot of people coming from like, I'm going to say like Rome or Vienna out there coming east. They 49 is probably pretty busy in the morning. Oh, yeah. 49 it goes is. all the way down to Rome. I forgot. About it that. does. It does. You know, it kind of hooks um, Brewerton. You know, it's that whole corridor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there is, you know, there is a lot of traffic. And, and in the summertime, you know, the lake is is busy with. Can you get to your place right of off the lake if we, you know, is there any place to. No, unfortunately, we're you know. on the other side oh, you're of the right. road. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So there's not a boat through, Tom. No. No, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah. what do, um, uh, when you opened, was it like, wow, there's a coffee shop. How, how was that experience when you pulled the pen and is there a drive through there? There is not. Not yet. Yeah, with okay. the state route, you know, there's quite a bit of, um, okay. you know, other things that So it's worth happen. getting out and going in and getting. <laughs> it, it is, and the environment itself is is very unique. You have a nice yeah, ambiance. What's, what's your website? So it's North Shore Coffee Tea, which is spelled out T E A Co dot com. Gotcha. Because you had some nice pictures uh, on there of the, the place. You kind of re, re uh, modeled it, or we did a bit. It, it's um, set in a, an old general store setting, mm -hmm. so the seating area um, is all you know old wood bookcases. Was it abandoned, or was it nothing, or did you? No, it it, it had served many purposes over the years. Um, built in the late 1800s. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's when Steve was built. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there's one of those. If you go at West Monroe past the golf course, there's a right on the corner there. It's like an old general store. Yeah, and the, it almost like goes into the road. I mean, you couldn't even get your car off there. It's so close. But I I go by that one, and you're four or five miles past that, probably going towards. We are so through Constantia, and right? Then, yeah, in the in the little hamlet of. Bernard's so how property. far past Constantia? I will fish up until Constantia. Yeah. That's kind of, if I'm not going to go to Sylvan Beach. How is it, what, three, four miles past that? Approximately, yeah. Because that's worth, for a cup yeah. of coffee, It's that's worth the drive for me. Um, and, and when are you open? So we are open six days a week. We're closed on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, nine to two during the weekdays, and then eight to two on, on the weekends. Okay. And, and you sell more than just the coffee and the tea, right? You, you have knickknacks and handmade things. Yeah. That's why it's kind of an unusual setting. Yeah. Uh, we have a retail area. So the, the focus of the whole building and is all local. So we have local artisans, you know, huh. we have local potters, we have a local blacksmither, a silversmither. Really? Um, That's you know, great. everything is, is local. So you're like an in person Etsy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. that serves excellent sure. coffee and, and you know yeah. pastries too. Along right. with remember that. the day when you used to go into a place and you knew people? Yeah, that's something. And that's kind of what it sounds like. And I'm looking, you're gonna see me. You're gonna show up and go, okay, oh, hey, that's that tall goofy you're guy. You're gonna regret being show. on this show, that's for sure. No, seriously, because <laughs> I, I will drive for a cup of coffee because um, it's just entertainment. And yes. I like I love coffee. And this coffee is outstanding. Where, where does this come from? Tug Hill Artisan Roasters. Tug Hill Artisan, okay. Because mm -hmm. they, they, they must roast it well, freshly because they can tell. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the teas. Uh, do you have any teas that have medicinal purposes that can uh, take care of a uh, cold, flu, and COVID? <laughs> you have those teas <laughs> uh, you know we serve all sorts of teas um you know several herbal teas along with some uh, black and white teas um we've been working with the good life tea out of canandaigua and 210 teas in syracuse so they're all loose leaf hand blended teas i see um, you know, is that what makes them special so that they yeah, I mean, they're all freshly blended. You know, the, it's, mm. it's not just yeah. tea in a tea bag. I was making so some tea for my wife. Uh, she was having some health issues. Like, can you make me a cup <clears> of tea? <throat> sure. Yeah. I, I don't know what, you know, you put the, <laughs> it's, it's like you're doing it and is it dark enough? How long am I putting? You have and, to and, steep it. The first yeah, I didn't even know what that time, word yeah. meant. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> there's a certain way to do it. And apparently uh, she either was desperate or I did it right. I'm not sure. And but she it said made, it was good. It was fine. She used the word fine. I don't know that that's. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have honey over there as well? We do. Yeah, we okay. do. We offer a couple of different um, uh, honey purveyors. Actually, I know a honey purveyor, Tom. Yes. Well, yeah, Hobie Honey. Hobie uh, Honey. Yeah, Bob Holden. Been on, on the show. Evil. It's got some yeah. real great local honey. Well, we wish you well. Uh, so, uh, listeners, check it out. You're on the North Shore. Co go and get a great cup of coffee at the North Shore Coffee and Tea Company. Uh, up on the North Shore Route 49. So thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Marcy.